Now, what the heck happened in Michigan? I will tell you. Back in 2017, when I worked for the Michigan Republican Party, I heard that Democrats wanted the Secretary of State seat more than anything else, and they also wanted to get this ballot initiative passed that was like Eric Holder's project, voters, not politicians. There are several different reasons why Republicans lost that year, but marijuana being on the ballot did not help. They also passed same-day voter registration and any reason absentee. Then 2020 happened, and it has vastly changed how we do elections with the drop boxes and Democrats really being able to capture the low-effort voter by just having the mail-in ballots. Now, Michigan is a blue state, but because of where everyone kind of sits on the map with so many Democrats being centered in like Detroit kind of area, it's hard for Democrats to win the Senate and the House. But because of how they redrew the lines, this panel that they had, they kind of clawed Democrats into other areas. Abortion really drove out Democrats, particularly youth voters who don't normally vote. They were selling it as Restore Row, which isn't true. But if you read what's on the ballot, what's actually in the proposal, they left some key stuff out. It's really egregious what happened. And that is briefly how we got the lame duck three-headed hydra that will have no checks and balances in the legislature or the Supreme Court.